this is Praxis, and today I'm working on these balusters a little bit more. There were a couple different types. There were shorter ones. These are the longer ones. These are 40 and a half inches long. And I was able to make quite a few of these out of scrap wood that I had around, although some of them I, I didn't have quite enough 40 and a half inch long scrap. So I, I had to cut some out of fresh wood. But it's going pretty well. And what I want to talk about today is kind of assembly line work, mass production style, putting things together. As you're building something like this, sometimes it feels nice to kind of, you know, put a few things together and then get them up on the house and then do a few more things and get them up on the house. But when you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, it really pays to do it all at once. And the advantage of it is really time saving and also the elimination of potential for making mistakes. As I'm uh, cutting these all up, first step was to rip them all down to an inch and a half. So I was taking the boards, rip them down, rip them down, rip them down, cut them all to an inch and a half long. They were uh, cut roughly to uh, the, the 40 and a half inch dimension, just a little bit longer. Then I was able to take all of these and cut them all down to exactly 40 and a half inches. And now what I'm doing is putting on this little angle cut at the bottom here. These are going to go at the bottom of the balconies where they're going to kind of attach to the kick. Uh, at, the, at the base there. Um, it's just an aesthetic feature, but um, I'm putting it the same on all of them. And the advantage is that I don't have to reset up the saw for every single time that I do this. I just take, uh, take these guys, figure out which face I want to have facing out, uh, match my corner up to a little X I drew right here, and crap, there's one, and I can jump right into the other. I don't have to walk anywhere because I got my stacks all set ready for me. And I'm already cutting the second one. And I'm going to get through this pile here pretty quickly. Uh, again, it feels nice to sometimes like do a little bit and then get it up, do a little more, get it up. And then for some things that works, but when you have a lot of the same piece you have to make up, it really makes sense to just kind of assembly line through them. It might be kind of boring, it might be kind of dull, it might be a little bit repetitive stress, but you eliminate those uh, potentials for making errors and it's just a lot of speed because like I said, aside from the fact that I'm making a video right now and not doing any work, otherwise it's just pivot, grab, cut, stack, pivot, grab, cut, stack, over and over again. It's pretty much the same uh, idea of like a Henry Ford assembly line or a you know Chinese forced political prisoner labor camp and it's a comforting thought to think that the same principles that can work in those uh, environments can work for building your homestead. And yes, I'm joking about the comforting thought about the uh, political prisoner forced labor camp. Just throwing out there for a little bit of like, well, that, that's, that's ironic. And there's a little bit of like political bite to this video. Unsubscribe. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.